African Center for Women in ICT in partnership with Nakuru County Government through funding from UK Aid has trained 500,000 women and youth within the county on the use of technology in agriculture and SMEs. The initiative is spearheaded through the Skills for Employment platform S4E. Its objective is to scale up all digital skills training programs being implemented by Aquit to be able to reach out to all 47 counties by the end of 2020. It also seeks to create awareness on the growing digital landscape and the opportunities that come with embracing its power and reach to scale up our socio-economic activities. Susan Yego, a trainer of trainees TOT, explains how she has passed this knowledge to farmers. I would like to acknowledge and really say the knowledge that I got in training as a TOT I imparted it to my farmers and it is assisting them, helping them so much to market their products. During the COVID-19, it was so useful because now many farmers were not able to go out to buy their vegetables. They had learned how to do their kitchen garden, so they didn't have a problem also having vegetables in their own homes because they were not going out, so they had vegetables. At the same time, they were also able to use ICT in, um, in, 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 in marketing the little vegetables they had to their neighborhood. Beatrice Award, a traditional vegetable farmer in Nakuru West Sub-County, explains how she has benefited from the training. I am a farmer. I vegetables and fruits. I have matunda and I have mboga. I have a lot of skuma, kuna spinach, kuna managu, kuna sageti, na kunde. Nafanya ukulima hizo ma traditional vegetables. Sasa pia ukulima yanafanya ni ya matunda kama passion. Kuna tree tomato, kuna tree tomato na pia passion kuna ina tofauti tofauti. Imenifanya mimi sana kama mkulima nimekuwa na mafunzo mengi. Imeni modernize kwa story na IT ya kufanya marketing kuuza vitu zangu online. Tukisha lima tunapeleka kwa tunapiga picha kwa simu alafu tunauza kwa jiji kuna hii mkulima hapa hizo tulifundishwa na extensional officer wetu wa agriculture madam Susan through the training she has also learned that she can do a lot on her kitchen garden through vertical farming tumefunzwa sana maneno na kitchen garden hii vertical farming hii vertical farming ya kwanza inatusaidia sana kwa sababu area kadogo ukiweka shamba unapata unapanda mimea mingi na tena unakuwa na mavuno ya juu tena hata wakati ya kiangazi tunatumia maji kido, kidogo juu kinyunyiza inachukua surface kubwa surface area kubwa sana tena magonjwa sio rahisi sana yashike mimea juu sio ya kwenda sio free farming Beatrice also expresses how online marketing has made it smooth to sell her farm produce uh, after kupata training hata nimeenda sana Uku, unajua sasa zingine kuna wakati soko ina overflow soko inakuwa na kila mtu na the same product tunapata kama tumelima vitu kama hizi mboga ni season wakati wa mboga kila mtu akona ile mboga sasa vile tulifundishwa maneno na online sana chukua tu napiga picha naweka online tena at least customer kitaka mimi namkimbishia pale tena hii online ainizui kufanya kazi zangu kwa nyumba ama kwenda mahali unique soko inaweza kuwa mobile kila maha kila mahali Rabin Isaac a student at the University of Nairobi on the other hand is upbeat about online marketing my name is Rabin Isaac Rabin i'm a student at uh, Nairobi University i'm studying bachelor of science in mathematics first of all i'd like to thank Aquit uh, in partnership with UK Aid and the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, together with our facilitator Susan, uh, they've helped us to the training. Before I attended the training, uh, I used to do basic IT, but once I attended the training, I networked. Uh, I found some people, some farmers, who couldn't connect to the market once they had the produce. So my work was basically connecting them to the market. Uh, I opened platforms for them. I opened websites for them, I, I usually blog for them too at a fee and I also built a platform for selling bananas and I built a platform for selling, for selling briquettes. Aquit has, has helped us a lot, especially the youth, 
uh, on job creation. Uh, basically, we were, we were doing all this online. But for now, we can meet the farmers on the ground, uh, decide what produce they should sell, how they should advertise their products, the best way to describe their products, and basically meet the, the final, final customer. In Akuru County, we meet Sylvia Buibo, an entrepreneur who explains how she is applying digital skills in her business. Through the ICT, I've come to learn so many things and, um, and I'm also able to sell my products through online. Uh, I've been taught how to use the ICT by, uh, I have a Facebook page which I sell my products and through the page it has really empowered me. Through the ICT I usually get customers. This has enabled me to do my work even without moving. I do it online and currently I have an office in town whereby through ICT I connect with my farmers, I direct them where the, the products are. So when they come to the shop, it is easier for me to connect with them because ICT has made my work easier and uh, I thank the facilitators so much and I'm looking forward, I know we are going to be educated more and more. Lydia Moringo, a farmer from Molo in Akuru West Sub County, also shares how the digital skills have improved her farming business. I am enlightened and I am able to do farming and I specialized in the market. And so far, I am able to do this IT and I am able sales. I have a market outside the county through WhatsApp, through Facebook, through Gigi as application. I have a lot of information about the Tuzangu as a Haribiki. I have a lot of information about the Tuzangu. I have a lot of information about the Tuzangu. I have a lot of information about the Tuzangu. I have a lot of IT. The digital skills training program is opening up many opportunities for the youth. Joseph Nganga, a freelancer tattooist based in Nakuru, shares his experience too. Hey, my name is Joseph Nganga Mbugo, aka Easy. I'm a freelance tattooist and body piercer. I came to know about Aquect and digital training through my Facebook friend Judy. Like she's the one who, who it's like she shared eh? like a post on my timeline and she encouraged me to apply. I go to learn about it and how to market your business online. And uh, through that it has, it, has, it has helped me a big time, a big one because through the internet and since like I'm a youth, we are, we are on the internet at most you get. Eh? So through that, I learned how to how I can advertise my business on, online and uh, I've been getting clients through that. So I can say it has helped me uh, a lot. Mr. Peter Mwaura, the Chief Officer for ICT at the Nakuru County Government, explains the importance of partnering with Aquit to train youth and women on ICT. Our target groups in the digital centers are uh, mainly the youth, especially the graduates uh, who don't have jobs, they're unemployed, so we are creating a platform whereby we can deliver relevant technologies that will uh, enable them to work online uh, just to uh, provide an intervention, especially during this period of COVID. Number two, we have been targeting the, the women. And this is an area that is, uh, I would say, is a niche for Aquit as an organization. Many women uh, have been accessing our facilities where they get uh, the relevant training to uh, update them on 
skills that will uh, enable them to work online or, or also access content that will support their business. So Acquit has really helped us in these areas, supporting the youth and also the, the women. We have trained more than 12,000 uh, beneficiaries. So uh, we are investing heavily in Nakuru in the digital centers, setting up those infrastructures, and also capacity building our SMEs, our farmers, our youth, so that uh, they they are able to uh, work online. We want our uh, young people to have access uh, to the international markets. You see where we are at the moment, and they're looking uh, globally. Everything, everything is about IT. If you look at where the COVID pandemic has taken us, we are now working from home. Everything is about IT. So if our people are not empowered to, to interact on the IT platform, then really it means that they are not able to, to, to work because COVID has really taught us a lot. And this is why this partnership with Acuit is critical so that we are able to reach out to many youth and women to empower them digitally uh, so that they are able to trade online, market themselves and earn a living. Aquit was able to train TOTs, uh, the trainer of trainers of more than 100 in the first cohort. And we are also able to train youths and especially youth and women in various fields in ICT in how to improve their businesses as SMEs and agriculture. Uh, each TOT uh, trained more than 100, 100 uh, SMEs and agriculture uh, and farmers. I mean, uh, 100 SMEs and 100 farmers, uh, and they are around 100. So if you multiply, you get around about 10,000 people are trained on those platforms. So for us, it's a big milestone because we've. The equity, our partnership with Equity has enabled us to, to open up and to expose the business, business people and farmers. For Champs Media, my name is Lauren Nanok.